Okay, today we're going to learn how to syndicate, which means we're going to put the tour on Zillow, Trulia, and Yahoo Real Estate, and Realtor.com. So the first thing I do is I go to my spreadsheet and I'm going to choose a a tour that has been uploaded and the blue indicates that it, it's been uploaded but it has it was the listing was probably not active yet so um, I couldn't syndicate it so now this uh, I'm going I go in and I checked the so that's why it's blue so any anyway, rate so this one is 13609 Dunlandale Drive. So now I go into the MLS and I find that it is now active. So I'm going to copy the MLS number and then go to my tour and we'll just find Dunlandale. There it is. So I'm going to go in and edit that tour. Scroll down in the info, I'm in the info tab. And I'll just scroll down. To right here. Where it says choose MLS service. It's my only choice. And then right here. I'll go ahead and paste in that MLS number. And I skip all of this and I come down here to this little uh, underneath all this uh, formatting. There's a, a block here and this is where uh, you put in your uh, marketing remarks. So I go back to my marketing remarks from the MLS and I will copy that in. Now you won't have access to, you know, I just paste it right in there. And I usually just, for some reason, put the space there. You won't have access to the MLS. So you'll have to get this from, you know, when you, whenever you are uh, doing it, you'll have to get that sent to you, which I can do, or your client can do. But at any rate, you're going to need that. Uh, so then you just go in here and click save. And it says tour saved successfully. So then you click on syndicate. And you scroll down to where it says click here to publish this tour on neighbor. And then you see it already pops up. My email address and password, you know my password, and you click login. And here it's going to pre it's, it's going to preload the address. And then you scroll down and you know normally you're going to have a for sale property, you could have a for rent. Here you're going to have to enter the price seven ninety nine and then uh, your choices here you see here are your choices first most of the time we do single family home the acreage is going to be uh, oh you can't see my finger can you <laughs> I'm pointing to it uh, lot size here is point thirty nine this will be on the information that is sent to you by your agent or by me. You're built right up here 2008. Uh, you're renovated. I have no idea. I mean if you happened to know that you could stick it in but I don't usually put that in. Um, and this says uh, number of levels right oops I'm pointing again with my finger. Uh, right here, property, two-story single-family home. I usually go by what it says here rather than what I recall or remember from being in the home because, because I just do. 
So that says two story. So we put two here. Uh, and has basement on. I never even mess with that. So now we're going down to the number of bedrooms. And this says four bedrooms, four baths. So we're going to put a four there. Master on main. Well, I just don't recall. I'll come back to that because I'm going to put four bedrooms here. If there weren't any half baths. I skipped the one line. Excuse me, a summary. And I've already on my clipboard. The last thing I copied was the marketing remarks. So I just go ahead and paste it back in here. And then what I usually do to find out if the master is on the main is I just kind of scan the remarks. Because a lot of times it'll tell you, or if you just remember, you might remember. And I talked about that. doesn't say so I'm just going to not mark that because I don't know whether it is or not okay so the agent's name or uh, email rather is already in here I don't mess with anything else then I just click post and you'll get a, a message down here at the bottom that says waiting for neighbor and it takes a few minutes um, or, you know, not a few minutes, but a, you know, a minute or so, whatever, for this to uh, finish posting. So, while that's happening, let me go ahead and click over here on a new tab and go to myrealtor.com. And, it, it, well, it's not realtor.com, it's a it is my picture path a login which allows me to post my tours on realtor.com and you'll you see here this the login right here I mean the uh, page so there's my user ID and login click there upload a link to picture path I hope you can see that it's supposed to be full page so I hope you can alright click upload a link and here you type in the street address, which is, let's see what it was, 16309 Dunlandale Drive. That's funny. Look what we did our tour. We put the wrong address on our tour. 16903 16309 oh, Isn't that interesting? It's not there. 16309 Hold it. Is this the right one? Yeah. Dang. That's the first time I've done it. One six three oh nine. Yeah, I've already syndicated it with the wrong address. Let's see what happens. Okay. One six. We're learning a lot today, so I'm not here. Okay, that's fixed. Okay, so that's done. Alright, going back to this one. 16309 
John Mondeo. Don't need that. Okay, good. I promise. look at <laughs> Okay. Drive. Lithium. And Florida. The zip was two three five four seven. Okay, and the listing number goes right here. Okay, so and you have to get this exactly right or realtor.com will not accept it. So you've got to make sure the address is right and the zip code. The MOS ID, click next. Okay, and this is important, very, very important that this say zero. Because if it says $20, then you click main menu. You do not click next. Because it'll charge my credit card $20. This one says zero, so we go yes, it's a good thing. That means they the agent is a showcase member and it's not going to charge us anything to post the uh, tour on realtor.com. So you click next and you put your cursor in there so that it highlights the, the space for the URL. Go back to, oops, go back to the tour page, go to your tour link, and choose the branded tour. Copy it, and then paste it right into that space right there, and submit. All right, and that is that takes care of syndicating um, to Zillow, Zillow, Trulia, and Yahoo. That's the syndication, and then that takes care of uploading to Realtor.com, and it also takes care of correcting an address. Didn't even know we were going to take care of that. <laughs> so uh, that should do it. Okay, so the one last thing you have left to do after you have performed those miracles is you go to your spreadsheet, you change the blue to no fill, that lets you know that you have, um, you put the MLS data in, you put the date that you syndicated, you put the date that you uploaded to Realtor.com. Now, uh, Fred did not request a video, so we're not going to do that. Um, so, that, well, that is a wrap.